Have you ever wondered how hackers break into Wi-Fi networks? What if I told you it's actually possible to guess a Wi-Fi password without knowing anything about it? But don't panic. Today, I'm going to reveal how a brute force attack on Wi-Fi works. And more importantly, how you can protect your network from these kinds of attacks. Stick around till the end, because this video could be the reason you save your Wi-Fi from being hacked. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. I'm not encouraging or teaching anyone to hack. My goal is to raise awareness and help you protect your own Wi-Fi. Never attempt this on any network you don't own or have permission to test. Before we jump into the video, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss my new videos. Also, for this video, my goal is to hit 100 comments and 200 likes, so go ahead and smash that like button and drop a comment. It really motivates me to make more content and helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more people. All right. How do hackers actually crack Wi-Fi passwords? They use something called a brute force attack, basically running a program or script that guesses thousands, even millions of passwords until it finds the right one. Sounds scary, right? Let me show you how this works in real life using my own Wi-Fi network called UniGuy Network created just for this demonstration. First, hackers use a word list, a massive file filled with possible passwords. And when I say massive, I mean millions of combinations, way beyond anything a human could guess. Next, they scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks using the automated tool. And as you can see here, it detects all the networks around me. Now, I'm selecting my own test network, UniGuy Network, and this is where the attack would normally begin. Once they lock onto a target, the system starts firing passwords from the list, one by one, testing each one against the network. If the correct password is on that list, boom, they're in. If not, they'll keep going until they either find the password or give up. I can't show you the exact step-by-step -step workflow or name of the tools here due to YouTube's community guidelines. But if you're curious and want to learn more, join my Discord community. I'll share all the details, tools, and links there, and you can ask me any questions. Discord community link is in the description. And here's the good news. Brute force isn't always easy. They take a lot of time if the password is strong. And modern routers have smart protections like limiting failed attempts, blocking suspicious connections, or forcing delays between tries. So if you're using a weak password like password123, you're an easy target. But if your password is long and complicated, you're basically invisible to these attacks. Now, here's what you can do to protect yourself, and this is super important. Number one, use a strong, complex password. At least 12 characters, mixing uppercase lowercase, numbers, and symbols. Something like this, it is hard to guess, impossible to brute force easily. Number two, never use common passwords like password123 or QWERTY. Number three, enable WPA3 or at least WPA2 on your router. These are the latest Wi-Fi security protocols that make attacks much harder. Number four, turn off WPS if you're not using it. WPS can sometimes be exploited to guess your password. Number five, regularly check devices connected to your network. You can do it by using a third-party app like Wireless Network Watcher. If you see a device you don't recognize, kick it out fast. So yes, hackers can try to brute force your Wi-Fi password, but if you follow these tips, they'll probably give up and move on to an easier target. Remember, in cybersecurity, it's all about making yourself harder to attack than others. Have you ever been hacked? Or do you have Wi-Fi security tips to share? Let me know! If you learned something new today and want more cybersecurity tips and tricks, hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Stay safe, stay smart, and I'll see you in the next one.